Episode 94 My Good Friend Zack Zack was a man of principle. This did not mean that he was above demeaning his opponents. However, that depended on the situation. Since the Drenly group wanted to play, he would naturally accompany them in the end. So in the end, Nathan and the lawyer still bitterly left $80 million, carrying a bunch of copies and leaving. When they got into the car, Nathan was still cursing. He said that Zack did not keep his word and agreed to the last copy, but in the end, he brought out a bunch of copies. As for whether or not there were any left, no one could say for sure. Anyway, he had to be more careful in the future. After putting the money into the public account, Zack threw the last copy in his hand into the shredder. Donnie asked, Boss, are you not afraid that he will find trouble with you again? Zack smiled and said, Let him. Anything he throws our way will be pathetic. Zack was too lazy to deal with people like Nathan. If he really wanted to deal with Nathan, he only needed to make a phone call and he would be able to crush the Drenley group like he did with the Conroy group. However, the Drenley group hadn't reached that stage yet, so he was happy to deal with them slowly. Of course, this was also to open up the path for Kate in the future and let her see what kind of real business means were. In the next few days, the Drenley group was still suppressing the Dream group in all aspects. It was as if the two groups had reached a consensus in secret. No one would play any dirty tricks other than business. On this day, Kate found Zack and expressed that the company had been suppressed quite badly recently. Although we have recovered nearly 80% of the Conroy group's strength, it is still difficult for us to fight against the Drenley group. Many of the weaker companies have been suppressed by the Drenley group to the point of closing down. We need to think of a way out of this. In Zack's eyes, Kate's worries were not a problem at all. I have already checked. These companies that have been suppressed to near bankruptcy are mostly old companies that do not have any competitive power. Although they are still creating profits, the profits are either too low or are about to clash with taxes and be non-profitable. The current trend of the country's old and new energy conversion cannot be ignored by us as a group and company. We must learn how to ride the wind. There is a saying, change with the tide. Looking at these companies that are almost closed down, I think it's a good thing for them to close down. They are like pieces of rotten meat. If they don't go, how will we build them back better? Zack's words made Kate nod her head. She had benefited a lot from it, but she still had her own indirect opinion. Then I think we can't just close down just like that. After all, the loss is a bit too big. A smile appeared on Zack's face. Of course, we can't close the doors just like that. I've already thought about it. We have to find someone to pay for it. Seeing the evil smile on Zack's face, Kate knew that he was plotting against the Drenly group. But the Drenly group is not stupid. If we can see it, they can also see it. Yes, there are some tricks that can fool an idiot, but there are some tricks that you have to fool an idiot with that's not easy to use. The Drenly group that Zack was scheming was currently busy. The upper echelons of the company, with Nathan as the representative, were lined up in front of the headquarters building, welcoming the deputy director of Sunny Day Corporation, Thomas. Today, as soon as I woke up, the magpie chirped. I was wondering if there was some great news. Sure enough, CEO Thomas's visit is the greatest good news. It brings light to our Drenly group's humble dwelling. Nathan went up to greet him warmly as soon as he saw him. His words of flattery were a hundred times better than any other words of flattery. After that, Nathan said that because his father, Joshua, had gone on a business trip, he couldn't come and greet him personally. But don't worry, my father has already said that CEO Thomas is the most outstanding young man in the business world, and he is even more capable than him. All of us in the company will definitely learn from you and obtain more knowledge from you so that our company can rise to a higher level. I hope that CEO Thomas will give us some advice. As he spoke, Nathan invited Thomas into the company's reception room. Sitting on a spacious sofa, Thomas smiled and pointed at Nathan. Nathan, you really know how to speak. I remember the first time we met. Your mouth was really good at talking. At that time, you left a very deep impression on me. Nathan quickly waved his hand. Of course, 
what I said was the truth. The two of them exchanged a few more words, and then Nathan beat around the bush to test Thomas' intentions. However, Thomas did not reveal the truth. He only said that he was here to observe and learn the advanced management experience of the Drenley Group. Nathan understood this standard business tone immediately. There must be something wrong, but he hesitated and did not want to say it. So at noon, he brought Thomas to the hotel. If he could get some alcohol in him, he might be more talkative. In fact, it was true. After Nathan mentioned Thomas' purpose of coming again, Nathan finally spoke. Actually, I came this time to look for Director Joshua to discuss a collaboration with him. But he isn't here. Hearing this, Nathan became anxious. Behind Thomas was a big company. This kind of cooperation would definitely bring the Drenley Group to a whole new level. Therefore, he thought that he had to win this cooperation so that he could show his face in front of Joshua. Hence, he drank with Thomas once again, and after two and a half rounds, Thomas finally spoke while drunk. Let me tell you this. I'm here with the geothermal power plant this time. Geothermal power plant, as the name suggested, was a power plant. However, there was no power plant under the Drenley Group. Instead, there was one in the Conroy Group, which was the current Dream Group. Nathan was curious. Why was Thomas interested in a power plant? When he asked the question, Thomas replied, You don't understand. The higher-ups have already decided on the policy. It will be released very soon. What exactly is the policy? Thomas did not say anything. It made Nathan's heart itch, and he was very impatient. However, he then got something out of Thomas's mouth. It was probably that Thomas wanted to take down the geothermal power plant below the Dream Group. But it wasn't just them who received the news. There were also other families who wanted to take over the geothermal power plant, and it seemed like they were already talking to Zach. That's why I thought that all of you are in the same city. I don't know the business world over here, and I was hoping you could tell me, Thomas said. Nathan suddenly realized that Thomas had come today for such a big purpose. The moment he found out about the purpose, Nathan wanted to stir up this matter. But thinking about what Thomas had said just now, he didn't know what their company wanted to do. And there were other companies that were talking to Zach, so it was useless to disturb Thomas' side, and it didn't delay Zach from selling it. Nathan's eyes rolled, and he suddenly had an idea. He could not stir up trouble, and he could not take the opportunity to cut off a piece of meat. With this in mind, Nathan laughed out loud. Ho-ho, oh, Director Thomas, and you have found the right person today. I will not hide it from you. Zach is my classmate. Thomas's eyes lit up. Little Nathan, is what you said true? Nathan patted his chest. Of course, we are not just classmates. We are also good friends. We are very close. <laughs>